We're here at ARC World Forum in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to present Janice Abel, Principal Consultant at ARC Advisory Group. I'm here today with Clark Dressum from Dow Kokum, who's going to talk to us about a collaborative production technology solution. Hi, Clark. Hi, Janice. Uh, Dow Kokum is an exciting part of the economy today. Could you tell us a little about what your company does? Absolutely. It, it is very exciting. It's a growing industry. It's an emerging industry. Dow Kokum is involved in the manufacture of lithium-ion batteries. And, and this technology can be applied to any number of different market segments. Uh, today, it's, it's used widely in medical devices, in defense uh, industry type applications, and in various industrial applications. The pieces that uh, really get people excited, though, you start talking about transportation and stationary applications, those type of things. And in, and in transportation, you're used to hearing about hybrid cars and where you've got a little bit of a battery and some engine. The, the market is heading towards the full electrification of vehicles. And what this means is all battery, all electric. And, and we're seeing this in a number of cases, uh, kind of slow on the uptake on some of the consumer side of things, uh, although you do see some products out there today. Uh, but much more, we're seeing draw from light trucks and delivery vehicles, postal service vehicles, even garbage trucks and other things. So anything that really has a route and, and can come back to the same location every day to charge up, we're seeing a huge demand uh, in, in those type of, of applications. And so the, the batteries we're, uh, we're going to be building in, in Michigan are, are really geared for that type of application. Even, even things like a tugboat that uh, sits out in the water and uses batteries instead of uh, diesel uh, when it's idling. Uh, so a number of use cases that we're seeing. The other real key market segment that we're excited about is in the stationary side of things. And certainly you could see batteries as a replacement, uh, lithium ion batteries as a replacement for some of the lead acid technology and UPS uh, scenarios and, and computer rooms and that type of thing. But there's also a growing demand uh, inside the United States, especially for uh, smart grid type applications. And so the utilities are very excited about the ability to have energy storage devices that could uh, store energy that they generate during low peak times and then they can feed the grid if you will when everybody comes home at five o'clock and turns on their air conditioners have that fed from batteries versus having to fire up another you know another coal-fired uh, power plant or something like that so that's that's a uh, again an emerging need and, and very much a, an exciting area uh, of the market um, the other space that's seeing a lot of draw is in the uh, the green area. So you start thinking about solar energy and wind energy. <clears throat> and again, it's great if the sun's shining exactly when you need that, uh, that power, uh, but what if you need the power three hours later, right? So, so kind of microgrids and, and smart grids for the homes and, and that type of thing are, are again an emerging area that we're, we're closely watching. So the markets are developing, we're seeing a lot of pull, a lot of discussion, but at the same time we're building our plan today. So we do expect to have to have some agility and, and uh, preparation to, to feed those markets. Mm -hmm. What business challenges cause you to look for new te technologies and processes? Oh, that's, that's a great question. So our, our plant that we're building has really been a turnkey type, type solution. It's a greenfield you know, we built from the ground up. And so for us, it was really a matter of, of trying to incorporate the right technology from the beginning, right? So most of the reference customers we talked to and, and other applications were really trying to apply MES and, and manufacturing excellence uh, systems into existing environments. Uh, we tried to include it from the, from the beginning. So uh, really targeting efficiency, you know, operations, uh, manufacturing intelligence of what's happening inside the plant. And uh, we, th we think that the manufacturing execution software will allow us that, that visibility down to the shop floor. What drove you to select the Siemens technology? Um, a couple of things. I mean, first and foremost was the, the fit of the product. So if you look at our 
if you look at our plant, we have elements of continuous processes, of, of uh, batch processes, and, and especially a lot of discrete processes. And uh, the Siemens tool was able to provide us some, some built-in libraries uh, that, that enabled us to very quickly apply this technology into our environment. Um, we, uh, as I said, we, we've got this equipment as a turnkey type, type solution. So uh, the ability to take that and apply it very quickly to, uh, to technology that we were still learning about was, uh, was very key for us. Uh, another one of the key factors was the standards integration. Um, ISA 95 and some of the similar uh, application layer tools that allow you to pass information from your manufacturing environment back to your ERP system, your maintenance system, those type of things, uh, that, was, that was also very key. And, and we really expect, I mean, we, we intend to be a global company, and so we, we are looking for a partner that we think could help us uh, build in you know, reliability and sustainability as we expand and as we build additional plants, which, which we intend to do. What are some of the benefits that you're seeing from the Siemens technology? Well, we're, we're still in the startup phase. We actually start, uh, start generating, start making batteries in May of this year. Uh, so where we've applied uh, our MES system so far is in the startup and um, tuning phases of our plant, if you will. So we are gathering data today as we're testing equipment and as we're bringing it up online. And so, <clears throat> so far that's been the real, the real benefit is, is the visibility of the information to the product engineers, to the plant operations team, as they're trying to understand how to, how to best build um, operations rules around the equipment that we're getting in. Longer term, we really expect it to help us with the efficiencies of the plant. The track and trace uh, functionality is gonna be key to our customers to be able to go back and, and prove that we have the quality and consistency of our product as we, as we go forward. And, and, and again, just the, the 